Hello, good to have you all tuning in. And you got a great little Razorback right here. Yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> um, but before we go into Founders, we kind of wanted to show you guys um, what is around the area. This is a great part of campus. You're kind of in the middle of everything. Um, right behind me, we have Slim Chickens, which is a very popular spot. What do they have there? Um, chicken. <laughs> <laughs> they also have really good salad too. Okay. Um, check it out it's amazing and right in between them there's rocket taco a great taco place if you're craving a taco mm -hmm. um, over here we have starbucks another popular spot on campus um, and on the other side of that we have quiznos you're feeling a sandwich um, in this direction we also have the union mm -hmm. it's a very short walk away and across from founders is going to be kemple hall which is where um, a lot of journalism Communication classes are. I spend a lot of time in there as a communication major. Stellina says hello. Hello. Hi, Stellina. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then also back there is the Walton Business College. So if you're going to be a business major, we'll be right across the street. So that's awesome. And the Greek Theater is oh, right yeah. there. Take a look at the uh, yeah. Chi Omega Greek Theater right there. It's a really popular spot to study when it's nice outside have some uh, pep rallies there, I believe, too. So many hammocks. So, so many hammocks. So many hammocks. Up. Bring your hammock if you have one. And if you're doing Greek, uh, particularly sorority recruitment, bid day is right there. Bid day is there, and it's so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind pointing out our other halls, just so we, yeah. everybody can see what the neighboring ones are? So back here uh -huh. will be Gregson Gregson, Hall. yeah. Yeah, Gregson. And across the street will be Gibson Hall. Absolutely. So if you have any friends in Gregson or Gibson, you're super close by. Humphreys and Yoakum is also close by, um, so you're really close to a lot of people, so it's a great social place to be at. And down the street is Dixon, and yes, this is Dixon. all of the nightlife that occurs there. And really, really good food. I highly recommend Ham and Trees. They have the best grilled cheese ever. Also, Dirty Apron has really good sandwiches. They make their own bread. It's amazing. <laughs> it's also dangerous, so... They can read your article. You wrote an article for us about your restaurants that you like. All right, let's head on in to Founders Hall. So, Founders Hall is actually one of the newer halls on campus. It was built in 2013, so it's only six years old. Yeah. So, super nice, super fresh. I like it. A lot of people say it reminds them of a hotel. Mm-hmm. It has, like, all those first floor conveniences that are yeah. really easy to reach. Yeah. So, this was your place that you were mentioning before. Rocket Taco. Rocket Taco, where the Wild Wings are. I was in there all the time my freshman year. Um, they have a really big seating area in there, so I would study a lot and eat my tacos. Yeah, we got a couple of people tuning in. Be sure and tell us where you're from. We love yeah. to, to know, and uh, sure. maybe even what day you're moving here. Yeah. All right, there's Founders Hall. parents visiting you or friends that want to come over um, you will have to um, walk to the bottom and fob them in just so not everyone has access to your building so here's the fob Here we go. <laughs> okay. the air conditioning feels good <laughs> very good on a hot Arkansas day Hi, uh, I'm Eric Feltz here. I'm the CRE here for Founders and also oversee Duncan Avenue Apartments. Hey Eric, what is a CRE? Um, so we're the master level, um, well we're all master's levels, um, uh, live-in professionals, that's what yeah. we're here for. Live-in professionals that help out with the RAs, we help out with the facilities, um, 
we're kind of the helper. If you need anything, we can try to help you out. Well, not try. We will help you out and get you, <laughs> sure. get you, the, get you whatever resources you need, and we'll go from there. Yeah. Uh, Glory says hello. hello. Her son will be here on August 12th, and they're from Houston. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Right on, yeah, right on. We do indeed. Okay. So, yeah, here's the front desk. Um, mail, packages, do you mind just giving oh, us an overview? Yeah. So, our front desk is a little bit different than some of the other buildings. Um, it's only open between 4 and 10 on the weekdays and then noon to midnight on the weekends. Um, but your packages and your mail will all be over at the Humphreys front desk. Um, Tara, who's the admin assistant over there, does a fantastic job. Of emailing you about that um, you and your roommate will have a mailbox um, in the Humphreys great room I don't know if you guys have done Humphreys mm -hmm. yet. we have um, but yeah if you go to the Humphreys great room there's the mailboxes those are all for founders and you guys should have access to founders fantastic okay. or not founders sorry to Humphreys you Humphreys. should have definitely access to founders <laughs> <laughs> if you're living here so let's look at the kitchen area yeah they have a pretty nice one Mm -hmm. Prepping your food. Um, you have a full fridge right here and a microwave. So if you don't want to bring one in your room, they are available to you. You also have a big sink and an oven and a stove. So everything you could need. We got it covered, so you're good to go. And I guess cooking is kind of a thing here, right? Like people do cookies. Yeah. What do they do? Pizza. Um, Really anything. Mm -hmm. um, we did have some bakers last year, so we had cookies and brownies and cinnamon rolls and all sorts of stuff. Um, some people who did cooking. Um, I know some people who had like family dinners and stuff like that here at the at our longer uh, kitchen table. Um, yeah, 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 but if you don't have cooking supplies, we do have some for you to borrow from the front desk. Excellent. Okay, good stuff. So we have a little bit of a low network connection right now, but we're going to keep on going and pushing through and uh, post this online. So let's uh, take a look at other things here on the first floor. Yeah. So right here by the kitchen, you will have some recycling stations. Um, we're really big about recycling on campus. I highly recommend to bring a reusable, a reusable water bottle. Um, comes in handy going to class, and it helps the planet. So mm -hmm. highly recommend that. Um, and if you come over here, you have this big, great room with lots of couches and chairs. This would be great for studying or just hanging out with your friends. There's outlets in the tables, which is so cool. Yeah. To charge all your gadgets. Can you, can you pop that one open so they can see how it's done? Yeah. Let's see. Open it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. All right. Right it's on. Super fancy. Yes. And then okay. this way, there is a um, big TV. Mm -hmm. That is a gigantic television. Yeah, you can do all your Netflix binging right here. <laughs> so that's awesome. And there's also a ping pong table. Mm -hmm. Really big on campus. It's a lot of competition. And they can check out yep. ping pong. Balls. Yep, at the front desk. The true masters bring their own ping pong. Yeah, they do. Right? That's yeah, and that's the one thing I would say is because our desk is also not open all the time, if you do want to play outside of the regular desk hours, mm -hmm. bringing your own will be... Your own paddle? Yeah, your own paddle and ball will be the best way to be able to play at any time that you want. Absolutely. Good. Now, is this television for watching things as a community, or is it um, for signage? Uh, this is connected to the cable. Okay. So this okay. is for whatever. You, it's, you can do cable, you can do Netflix, movies, whatever. Um, the signage are on the other board. Okay. We have, we have them both for signage and for yep. this. Okay, great. All right. Well, we'll continue to look and see what we see. Yeah, we also have these water bottle fillers all over campus. Um, they're super convenient. They have like a sensor, and you can see how many plastic water bottles we have. Um, yeah. That's a lot. 45,000. 45,986. Yeah. That thing's going to roll over pretty quickly. Yeah. That's to 46, awesome. right? Mm -hmm. I want to watch it roll over. <laughs> <laughs> and also right here, we mm -hmm. have the laundry room and founders. Okay. So washers and dryers in here. There's also an ice machine um, and two vending machines. Would there be an, uh, um, other, is there an ice machine on any other floor or is it all down here on the central yes, floor? Okay. Everything, everything that's like that would be here. Okay. 
So great. both are the only vending machines we have are here. The only vending machine we have is here. And we do accept uh, wireless payment, so you're able to use your wireless payment devices right there. Mm -hmm. Also, another great thing we have on campus is an app called Laundry Alert, which basically um, you can put in the number of the washer or dryer that you're using, and it will give you notifications when your washer or dryer is done, when you can come down and take your clothes out so someone else can. I also believe you can see which machines are available <laughs> on the app. Um, so Eric said that this laundry room can get pretty busy, so that'd be a great uh, resource to use. <laughs> Sure. Yeah, it's really awesome. There's a third feature that allows for you to know like high times too, mm -hmm. like high traffic mm -hmm. times. So oh, like, nice. oh, it, some yeah, intelligence so, in there. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. Cool. So like, if it's always oh, busy at Saturday morning, then it'll tell you that, and it gives you like when there's low times. Nice, nice. Hello, everyone. Again, so so sorry about that. The network connection cut us off. So. But we're we, back. You were back. <laughs> so, sorry about that. Hopefully you're still with us. Yes. Um, so yeah, we just got done talking about the laundry room. I also wanted to mention, you do have to bring your own detergent. Um, we highly recommend pods, just because they're less messy. Um, you can just throw them in there. Also, you do not have to bring coins to put in the machines. Um, all of the laundry fees are in your housing fees. So. Indeed, no quarters required. No. Um, yeah, we've got three people actually already watching us again. So thank you for finding us again. <laughs> yeah. We're back. We're back. We're back. All right. Let's head on. Out. And is this your office? Yep. Awesome. So this will be your CRA's office if you ever need him. Um, Any stories about your decorations? That you want to tell that are that are they're just door, they're just decorate they're just door decks from RAs that I've had in past years. I like this one. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've, nice. I mean, the only one that's probably like this oh, is my home. yeah this yeah. is my home state. It's where I'm from. I'm from Vermont. Uh -huh. They actually asked for your hometown and they kind of got it close enough. Very so nice. There's a little star sticker over where actually my hometown is. I like your avocado. Yeah, I've had oh, a few yeah. avocados. Uh, <laughs> It's good stuff, man. Some, some of them you can tell are a little faded because mm -hmm. I've been here for, this is going into my sixth school year. So. Oh, wow. Sixth school year, all yeah, right. So I've been here a little while. Well, this is where you'll find Eric yep. if you have questions. All right. Over this way, we also have a study room slash conference room and um, founders lead hogs will be meeting in here. So you can take a peek in there. Yeah. If you open the door, I'll oh, you're head on. Room? Yeah, we'll take a look in there. Would people just generally use this space for studying? Yeah, this is one of the only, um, I guess that's way to say, like completely walled, enclosed study areas we would have. Mm -hmm. Okay. Every, because we'll go up onto the floor, the study areas on the floor are all open to the floor. Um, well, they're on three sides, they're closed, but yeah. both sides of the floor. So. Nice to have these open study spaces. Yeah, this is yeah. So this is a nice area for like if you got a larger group project, but you don't want to be distracted by being on the floor, or um, it can be a little bit quieter in here, sure. except for ping pong's going on. Well, is there anything else on the first floor? Should we just go on up to a room? Yeah, we can go up to the okay. Go, up to the floor. go up to the penthouse, the sixth floor. We want to show you an example of what's called a gable room first, and those are rooms that have a little bit of space that's diagonal in the uh, in the bed area. So yep. we'll show that to you. Uh, show the monitors at the end. Yeah, yeah, we can show one of the monitors. Okay. And have you been um, attached to uh, this community for more than one year? This will be my second year here. Second year here. So what would you say about our founders community? What makes them unique and different? Um, so one of the things that makes us a little bit more unique is that we're a smaller community. So we head community. over to the elevator. Yeah, we're a smaller community than other buildings, some of the other buildings. Mm -hmm. uh, we're less than, we're only about 215 students of 214. Yeah. Um, so we're smaller. We have the business LLC um, on the, well, we have part of the business LLC on the third floor. The other part will be in Humphrey. Um, we have a lot of business students because of our location towards Walton um, and the LLC. So. Sure, we've got Kemple and Walton really just across the street. Yeah. Couldn't be closer. So that's that really helps out the community as far as like 
everyone's from kind of the same major. We'll have other majors and stuff like that. Sure. Um, do you have any programming that you do that's kind of specific to founders? That's specific to founders, not really. It's still kind of a new community. We've mm -hmm. had some changing in with staffs and stuff like that. Still trying to get the feed. Civility's only been open since 2013, 2014. Yeah, right. So it's kind of still trying to get some of its building. Sure. Sort of Here we are on the sixth office. floor. Yeah, so first we'll go ahead and check out a bathroom. Okay. Very typical bathroom stall right there. And then, yeah. You've got all your sinks with a great big mirror. Nice. David's asking about gabled rooms. That's actually what we're about to go check out. So, absolutely. Yes. Um, and then you have your shower spaces, which is super nice. You have a yeah. door that shuts. Um, and you have, you can look in here, you have a little changing space. Do you mind moving that curtain for me? Yeah. Thank you. We take you right on in there, let you look all at it, all at it. This actually has a nice little seating area. So that would be your shower. And they're cleaned almost daily, if not daily, daily cleaned by our staff. And so they are very clean. And we ask that you be clean as well when you use them. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, a shower caddy, so you can have all your stuff with you, makes life easier. And shower shoes, you just want to be as clean as possible. Sure. And those are like $2, right? Yeah, super Flip flops, cheap. as yeah. cheap as you can get them. Yeah. Okay. Also, um, are these on every floor of the study? Yeah, room? There's, so there should be two on this floor. Okay. And then on three, four, and five, there are three of them. Oh, awesome. So wow, so nice, you have a lot of this space. Yeah, yeah, a nice open study space. There's a TV on the wall as well. And you have these a are whiteboard wall. huge whiteboard wall. Oh, wow. So you can like literally write on that. Yep. Break dry erase markers, not permanent. Uh, right, right. No spray paint, no yep. permanent markers. Sharp rings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Great. Yeah, this is really nice. Okay. And then there's no the television for messaging. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Do you mind opening it up for us? So this would be... We're staying in room 620, this will be a room. Here's your room. Okay, now this is one example of a gabled, but not the yeah. typical example of the gabled. Mm -hmm. Right. So let's just show what that is. And then let's go, yeah. if you don't mind, to a more traditional gable yeah. style. So it's right there is uh, what makes it the gable room. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's go out to one that has a more normal... Yeah, we'll go there. Sure, it was right off of the uh, elevator. Mm -hmm. Ooh, let's give it a try. Yeah. Okay, so this would be very typical for the gable room. Yes. So, all this furniture is movable. Mm -hmm. You can put anywhere, but basically it's that, it's that architectural detail where it's kind of diagonal right there. We've got our beds right here. And then here's the sink. And everybody loves the fact that Founders has a sink built in. And look at all that counter space. That's a lot of counter space. That's awesome. Yeah. I would love that. Keeping it organized. We've got space shed. underneath. And a wardrobe, too. Yeah. So it does come with a mirror. So that's super nice. Got built in shelving. Got a rod for your hanging things. Very cool. Okay, well, we've shown the gable room, so why don't we go down and show a more typical room yeah. without the gabling. Okay. I think sixth floor is where you're gonna see the most gable style yeah. rooms. I think our stairs are right here on the left, maybe? Yeah. Awesome. Three stairwells. <laughs> Yep, uh, Richard's asking about measuring distances in non-gable rooms. Yep, and yeah. so 
We're just about to go there right now. Moving down to floor five. Level five. There's another study space. Yeah, another example of a study space. They're all a little bit differently configured, mm -hmm. um, but similar in concept for sure. Is this more signage? Yep. Mm -hmm. Awesome. There so, should be two on each floor, um, except for two and three, five, or two and six, which should have more. Okay. So we'll go into any of these, I think. Yeah, they should all be. So this is room 534. 534. For reference. Yes. Oh. There we go. Okay. So this will be a more traditional style room. Mm -hmm. Let me give them a nice 360 before we start to get into dimensions. Pointing those out? Yeah, right here. And you also have a peephole, mm -hmm. which is nice. <laughs> now, you probably won't have anybody coming in that we don't anticipate you coming in, but right. always good to know who's at your door. Yes. Now, we do have a few questions that have come in for us. I'm going to give you the tape measure. We're using analog, not our digital though, this I time. I it. <laughs> so, here are some distances that Richard would like. Uh, and if you don't mind, maybe you could help Channing uh, get these. One is the window width and the window height. Uh, about 60 inches. About 60 inches high. Yep. And, and that's about, you can see that we're trying to get to the inch, but. Thirty-six to inches the, wide. To the lips. Okay. Okay. Great. Yeah. Um, Richard had also asked about uh, measuring the distance from the top of the window to the ceiling. So that's going to be a little bit of a trick to get there. But if you can go all the way up there and just sort of kind of eyeball where it should come. Yeah. Can you read that? Just under sixteen inches. Okay. Under yeah, Eric's got great eyes. He said it's just under 16 inches. Thank you, Eric. Um, then we need to measure the distance from the bottom of the window to the floor. Okay. So, some solid window questions. I bet something, somebody's building something. Oh, yeah. It's going to be about 37 inches from the window sill. Okay. 37 inches from the window seal. So, um, the width of the storage cabinet. With the doors closed, yeah. That's going to be right over 35 inches. 35 inches, yeah. yeah. And then uh, the height of the storage cabinet. Okay. What do they say? Teamwork makes the... Teamwork? Teamwork. Uh, just about 71 inches. 71 inches, okay. Um, measure the distance between the top of the cabinet and the ceiling. So as best we can get that. Now, I will point out that the roof uh, gets taller here. It's narrower here. And these are movable pieces. So you can technically put it anywhere you wish. It's about 30 inches, a little yeah. over 30 inches. About 30 inches, okay. Um, the width of the cabinet across the top, if that's possible to get. Yeah, I would think it would be about the same whether yeah. we hit measure it from the side or the top. It's about the same. Yeah. Um, the distance between the beds. Yeah. That's definitely something probably both y'all need to. Yeah. So frame to frame. Yeah, it's about 58 inches. 
58 inches frame to frame. Okay, got some more questions coming in. Uh, David asks, um, on the gabled rooms, are the wardrobes in all the gabled rooms shorter than those in the standard room? Most likely. Most likely, okay. Just well, because of the, there's not like, it's not, yeah, because of how the gable end rooms are, the gable sure. rooms are set up with that design feature. Yeah. Thanks, thanks, to, yeah, uh, David, hopefully that answers your question. We can try to get a little more clarification on that, but I think, yeah, as Derek said, that's, that's the case. Uh, Glory asks, space under the sink for storage. Just one, okay, so let's see what we have there. About 27 and a quarter inches to the lip, is that right? Yeah. And then how much clearance do you have underneath that? Um, you mean like under here? Um, the back, the back. Oh, okay, the depth. Yeah. Uh, about 23 inches. About 23 inches depth, okay. Yeah. Um, I would say if you're going to do that, I would use this one. Oh, okay. Just because, like, if there's a problem with the sink, uh -huh. you don't want mm -hmm, mm -hmm, your stuff mm -hmm. getting ruined. Yeah, okay. And then, uh, Gloria asks, one set of drawers, or are there two sets of drawers? And it looks there's like... two sets of drawers, and then there's two dressers and a little desk and thing. Okay, nice so table. every student gets well, how much shelving? They get usually one, one set of these, with yes. there's four there. One set of those, which has about, I think, three plus the, plus the hang side, so actually it's four. Mm -hmm. Plus your hang side, and you can put stuff up here. Yeah. And then I think it's three dressers, mm -hmm. and then like a little night table. Yeah. And also, this drawer um, is able to lock. So if you can, you can bring your own lock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a padlock and a key. Yeah, you can just turn this over, maybe. Yeah. And um, you bring your own lock so you can keep any valuables you might want to lock away in there. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, do gabled rooms have two desks? And Amy, yes, they do because they're meant for two students. And they also come with a desk chair. Mm -hmm, and a desk chair. Okay. Um, Christy asked, what is the width of the countertop by the sink? Okay. <laughs> the width? Is that... So the width would be in this dimension. Yeah. I'll yeah. Hold that. You got it? Yeah. Thanks. It's going to be about 27 and a quarter inches. Just under 93 inches. Okay, um, Richard is following up with about the difference in the ceiling height. Mm -hmm. And so if we can, is there a way we can get the measurement for that little lip right there? Um, are you able to kind of get it straight up there enough to kind of get a reading? Maybe. We may or may not be able to get this one for you, Richard. We'll try. So it's about 13 inches? Yeah, somewhere in that area. Just under 13. So, yeah, we'll say 12 to 14 inches yeah, is the difference foot. between the two. Yeah. About a foot. Yeah. Um, okay, we got some good questions. We'll keep yeah, going here. Um, between the lower height, yes, and the other portion of the ceiling, I think we answered that. Four, or five, or six inches, actually more than that. So, uh, Gloria asks, is it wired internet or only wireless? And only wireless. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. We do have, uh, where is it? It's behind one of these desks. Oh, it's right here. We do have, in every room has their own wireless router. Um, and if you do want to, there is a wire port, um, at least it's someone over here. So that's not, not every single room across our, all of our rooms have them, but some of them do have that wired um, connection. We definitely have wireless connection for all rooms. Yeah, and every room, in, in, especially in Founders, yeah. has that. So if you ever have any issues getting online, you can just contact ResNet and they will provide you help with that. And that's uh, housing.uark.edu forward slash resnet, R-E-S-N-E-T. Uh, Richard says, need to get some storage shelves up on the top of those cabinets. Recommendations for fixing shelves to the top of the cabinets. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's see. Uh, some storage shelves up on top of those cabinets. Your recommendations for fixing those shelves at the top. I would say, yeah, your um, your, bo your boxes mm -hmm. would be good to use. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, Anything flat surface. Right. Mm -hmm. And then there's um, a question about uh, how do people affix things to the walls? And this one seems to come up a lot. Uh, you know, you can use command strips, but beware. 
because command strips will create can can have problems with the paint on the walls and you will be charged for that so really our ideal recommendation would be um, painters tape that blue tape painters tape or white um, poster putty that tends to not remove the paint either so those are really good ways to uh, put things up Richard Richard asked how many plugs in the room and maybe we can give them a quick little check on that so we got two right there and then two underneath. Yeah, so it's four. Okay. So what do you have? About eight? And there's also um, one two right Okay. We have seven just in this part plus plus uh, four more? Yeah. So eleven? Plenty of outlets in here. Eleven outlets. Yeah. <laughs> um, Jeff asked for rules on power strips. Basically, you're, you're, you're welcome to use power strips as you need. Don't plug in a power strip to a power strip because that, that's kind of dangerous. Mm -hmm. I would recommend everything goes into a power strip because it's power um, and we sometimes lose power. We, it, we you know, can't this is power from other times and the last thing you want is something shorting out, mm -hmm. um, particularly like your computer or something like that. Some of these more expensive electronics. So, yeah. um, for sure, power strip. Um, with a circuit breaker thing or with a... Sure. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you want to protect your investment of your computer or any good electronics. Um, and, and, and Richard also asks, if, if the circuit pops, like let's say for some reason we have a, a circuit pop, where does it reset? Do you reset it on the plug itself or do we um, reset on the, on the hall it level? It should be in the hall. Okay. Um, the RA, so you can just let the RA know and the RA will take, well, if it's during the business day, maintenance will be here. Um, the RAs will know how to reset the circuit mm -hmm. um, and where those are all at. Um, but yeah, the one thing that will happen is that it will only, it's, it should be wired this way in half the room. Mm -hmm. So if, if, they, if a circuit breaker was to trip, it will only be half the room. It only be the half that has tripped, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, and usually, it'll actually usually cause um, one of your neighbors to have an issue too, because that's how they're, it's shared that way. Okay. It's typically shared on the wall. Richard was asking to look at the uh, plugs over here, so I'm happy to show that off. It's got a JFI on it. And get a sense of it, yeah. And that's probably the same underneath. Yep, here. Hopefully that'll let you know what you need. Okay. And then there's one underneath here. I don't actually have a very good light, but there's one right there as well. Okay. All right. Looks like we have some expertise online about, uh, <laughs> about electricity. We appreciate the questions. Um, let's see. What else? Let's go ahead and measure the bed. We oftentimes do that just as... Okay, so about 80 is what we yeah. call that. We call it 80. Yeah. Um, Gloria asks, if the beds are lofted all the way up, can you fit your desk or chair underneath? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. And most of these loft beds lofted about three inch increments. Mm -hmm. And you have a lot of flexibility on how high you want to make it. Uh, Gretchen asks us to open the drawers by the sink. We are happy to do that. They're all about the same size, I think. Yep. Yeah, the bottom ones are yeah. a little bit deep, the like, one is a little bit thicker. Okay. Bottom one is a little deeper. There we go. Okay. All right. Well, let's. Uh, any any final thoughts to say to your community as they come in? No, we're just getting set up and ready for y'all to come in. Um, actually, the RAs will start showing up tomorrow morning. We'll be when we start getting our RA staff here. Uh, I know some other staffs have been a couple weeks out because they were a little bit earlier, but we're a little bit later in the in the process. But yeah, we'll have RA starting to show up and we're getting really excited about getting people here. We've been doing a lot of planning meetings with the RAs and the GA and everything like that. So. Moving's happening. It's coming. It's coming All right. soon. Yeah. We're almost, what, two, a week and two days? Week and two days. Oh Super excited. A week and two days. Our new we're academic. Moving. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Great. 
You mind signing us off? Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more tours that we've already done or the rest of the tours we will do this week, you can go to movein.uark.edu and see the full schedule of tours there. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the fall.